Good evening and thank you. We are launching a brilliant one day special with the very beautiful Kerry. You look absolutely gorgeous today, by the thank way. You. We've just been having a little powwow, cup of tea, sweets, just getting us ready for this one day special, haven't we? We are in our event at the moment and it's called <coughs> Ready, Set, Sew. So everything that you see will have a freedom discount if you're a freedom member, but also we're doing a giveaway so, oh yes here, brilliant. So anyone that makes a purchase in this hour will be entered into our prize draw and you will win this, which is your light for your sewing machine, worth 30 pounds. So someone will win that towards the end of the hour and we will announce the winner. But let's first of all talk about you. How long have you been sewing for? For about six years. Oh. Yeah, for about six years. So you were custom making yes. things, weren't you? Yes. And then you sort of decided to go back to basics a bit more and you obviously started working with the quilted bear. Yes, so oh. I decided I wanted to teach and share my passion for sewing. And really I've only been working in partnership with the quilted bear since the beginning of August, so it's quite exciting and I'm well, just they getting were quite, to... Yeah, they were yeah. lovely, they were quite impressed by you, weren't they? <laughs> and obviously now you're here showcasing some of their products as well as your own, obviously, because you'll have seen Kerry before. In fact, we kind of started near enough the same time, we did, didn't we? We did, yeah. I walked in and there was Yanis chewing her ear off <laughs> bless her so i came and rescued her away <laughs> um right let's go get started with what we've got this is our one day special and you're gonna love it 438712 this is your quilted bear free motion nine piece sewing set with your storage box there's a freedom price on here 33 33 pounds and 22 pence you're saving £31.69 with this. So if it's all right, Kerry, let's just go through everything that you're getting included. So tell me about the box. So the box is perfect, especially if, you, if you're if you a bit like me and you're a bit disorganised. So it, it just... Me. It's, it, <laughs> We just tend to have lots of things and our, we, we thought that this was a really good idea because it just means everything that you need when you're doing free motioning can be kept inside this mm. box, including your gloves and your glue. Um, yeah. So it includes everything that you're going to need in there. Because there is, is a space for everything, yes, isn't there? there which is. We will show you at the demonstration area, but it's absolutely brilliant and it's been designed for that. Now, what's this? So this is where you'll keep your bobbins, so when you're free motioning you tend to sort of work through your cotton quite yeah. quickly. So it is just a bobbin box, so you top up your bobbins before you're starting, and it can be used in any sewing, not necessarily just for free motion, yeah. but it's just to store your bobbins in there really. Great, Again, okay. a nice organiser. And we're getting the thread as well with this, and then this ruler. What would that be for? So it's your measuring gauge. Yeah, course, so this yeah. is great. So later on in the shows, I'm going to show you how to make a cushion. And if you just want to do a really simple measurements for your double hem, for example, on the back of a cushion, it's just a really easy tool to work yeah. with. Yeah. So these really, everything within the one day special is about making your life easier yes. as a soft crafter, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. And being a bit more organised. Yeah, absolutely. So your gloves. Yes. What are you using those for? So the I gloves mean, I know you're going to wear them, but yeah. in particularly in soft crafts, what yeah. would you so use? If you look at the end of the gloves, then we've yeah. got the, um, the yeah, the, um, what's the word we're looking for? The grip. The, the grip. So the they're grips. little rubber gri grips on there. So when you're putting these on, and I particularly like these gloves because they're nice and tight. So it means that, you know, you can grip onto your fabric. Your fabric isn't sliding. So it just supports you when you're That's doing your free idea. motion. Yeah, they are fantastic. And actually, I find it quite difficult to, to do it without using gloves. Yeah. Um, so the fact that you've got your grips on there are... Oh, brilliant, brilliant idea. Okay, and these? These are the dividers. Okay. So that will come in your kit and it's entirely up to you how you organise your box. I will show you in yeah, a little while, but they're you. just the little dividers to sit inside. Okay, so we've also got the pens over there. So we've got a fabric pen and so the black fabric pen is, yeah. is brilliant so the great thing about this is that you can draw all over your fabric so if you're not if you, especially if you're free to free uh, sorry new to free motion yeah you can draw your little doodle lines on there free motion over them pop your iron over the top and nobody knows that you've done any following of the guidelines so really? i particularly like these pens because they're you know they're heat erasable yes. and then the other pen is a glue pen so if you're going to do any applique you could use some applique paper but we're going to make it really easy and just use that um, glue pen there to attach your fabric so it speeds up the process when you just want to do your oh, doodling brilliant. on there so yeah i really like this pattern. so this value for all of this is just incredible okay so finally we've got the two boards here 
So which one, what would you use that one for? So these are your two rulers. I mean, you can use your rulers literally for anything. I just want to show you a really simple technique for incorporating these two rulers. Personally, I'd use this just to prepare the fabrics. And then on the bottom, then when we're going to do some, we're going to do some half square triangles. That's what I'm going to show you today. Okay. And it's just a really easy and fast way because the size is already there for you. Do you only use these with free motion? Do no, you no, you'd use, with... no, you'd use your oh, okay. rulers for any, any sewing ah. anyway. So they're Brilliant. perfect for that. I just particularly like these sizes with a the, with the little demonstration, the half square triangles I'm going to show you in a minute because they oh, work good. together really well. Um, so that is everything you are getting in your one day special. 438712. Your freedom price is 3322, including PMP because we are in an event. We're expecting to be very, very busy for that. But we're going to move on because we do have more rulers. So we'll go to this one. Details coming up on the screen. 435 510 3297 in your PMP. So, this is your 6.5 three piece ruler set. So, we've got a lot of rulers featuring in this show. And if you don't mind, Kerry, just tell us sort of what this would be best used for and why we'd need this specific, need specific size. Yeah, so this one is the 6.5, and you're getting three of them. So it really depends um, what mat you're using these on. These are probably, for me, these are the rulers that I would use most often. So okay. you've got your larger ruler there. So this is great if you're working with fat quarters or even fabric on the meter. So you need the length in that right. product there. Okay. Um, the smaller ruler, which is the 12 by 6, are these? Yeah, 6 and a half mm. inches. So again, you know, the great thing about these is your half is on there to allow for your seam allowance. So if uh. you wanted your block, so if we're doing some patchwork and you yep. wanted it to finish at 6, then we've already got the seam allowance on there. That's why it's a 6 and a half inch ah, ruler. excellent. Um, okay. And the square one just down at the bottom comes again, back going back to patchwork and quilting, is it's just to square up. So they're all used for different reasons. This is a really um, good um, set then actually yeah, isn't it? Yeah, these it are definitely the rulers that I would use most frequently. Yeah, so 435 510 2473 is your freedom price including P and P. We do have a regular price as well but take advantage of our freedom prices because we're in an event so you are getting discounted. So now we're going to move along to these. So 009124, so this is your five piece set. So your 2.5 to your 8.5, 37.95 and your P and P. So what, uh, yeah, unless you're a Freedom member and then there's a better price, £30.36, what a great saving, including P and P. So Kerry, what about these ones? So again, you've got all the different square sizes. These are great to use. So if, like me, you you know you you've made your products, yep. you've got some fabric left, and you don't want it to go to waste, it's great to cut up your scraps. But more oh, okay. importantly, I'm going to show you a demonstration on how to use the two different size rulers again, then to do your blocks. So we're I'm going to show you a really simple technique. So each of the rulers really are designed for a specific reason. Um, so for example, we'll use the larger ruler to cut the initial pattern, and then we'll use a smaller a ruler then to square it up so again they're really they work really well together yeah. oh brilliant um, so 009 124 30 pound 36 is your freedom price for those now we've got some more these are obviously a lot larger so details coming up on the screen for you 804 291 74 96 and your PMP your freedom price that is a huge discount 56 22 including your your PMP 804291. Now this size, yes. what would this be for? So again, they'll be used in exactly the same way as the smaller version. Yeah. Some people like working, I personally like working with smaller pieces of fabrics. So yes. I think it's a great way to use up the fabrics. If you wanted to do patchwork but you didn't want it so tricky, you know, you didn't want to cut it so close together, yes. then you could definitely use these rulers to complement each other. Okay. Following the same technique, I'm yes. going to show you with a smaller version. Okay. But it really is just to, to do it on a bigger scale. So if you've got a big quilt that you want yeah. to make and you don't want to, you know, keep cutting lots of fabric and you don't bits. like faffing around, yeah. these, this is definitely the bundle to go for. Brilliant. Okay. And you are getting four of those and it's a brilliant freedom discount. 804291. So we're going to move along. So this is our cutting mat. Yes. It's the 12 by 12. So you choose your colour and then you get all the accessories with it as well. Well, this is good. Really good. So yeah. if, we if we come a little bit further along, so you're going to choose your colour. So you've got your blue, your pink, your grey and your green. Hopefully those are the correct 
Yeah, brilliant. So 569-986, $26.99 in your PMP. Your freedom price is $24.29, including PMP. Now you get the rulers and the cutter as well. Now, how do you use that? So the rotary cutter. Yeah. So that's why no, you and on the mat. And the rotating mat. Mm. So can we lift the mat up? Yeah, of course yep. we can. So the great things about the mats is if we just turn it over and have a little look. So let's pick up the second part as well. So if you turn it over, yep. we've got the locking system on the back. Okay. So you can see there. We'll just wait for the Yeah, perfect. Just yep. how easy that is. So we've got the locking system there. I'm holding it. Can you? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's it. So that prevents that mat from moving. Yep. And then when you take the locking system off, this just means when this is flat on the table, that you can rotate the mat. So if you turn that now, you'll see that that rotates. So if you were oh, doing fabulous. some really intricate work yeah. and you didn't want to keep moving your fabric because you know it's just a bit of a faff really, then you're rotating the mat, which means that it makes it easier and again speeds up the process of cutting down, especially when you're working on your smaller blocks. Brilliant. So Crafter's Dream 12 by 12. Is this what you were on with when you yes, came? Yeah. Yes, it was. I remember <laughs> it was so, so busy. So this is your design? This isn't my design. This is the Quilted Bears design and these are Crafter's Dream. So these have been designed specifically for them. For the Quilted Bear. Oh, yeah. fab. 569-986. Just choose your colour, $24.29 is your freedom price. Now we're going to move on to the round one. That show was so busy for these, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I they remember. were very popular. Very popular. So 893-197-3999. So this is your 14 by 14, your six piece circular rotating cutting mat set. So this, what's the benefit of the, the circle over the... The difference is, mm. so the square mats, your numbers are coming from the corner. Yeah. The circular mats is great for finer work. It's great for paper crafters as well, not just for patchwork and quilting or sewing. So you're working now outwards, so you're working in the opposite way. So if you're doing really fine, small, you know, two and a half inches, mm. then you've got all of these measurements on here as well, working from the bottom. Ah. And also, I mean, the feedback that we're getting from people is that they're, if you're working on a, you know, your sewing table and you haven't got too much space, yep. then these turn a lot easier. And again, those have the locking system on the back as well. Honestly, when these we had a show on with Kerry, they were so ridiculously busy. Yeah. Eight nine three one nine seven. Your freedom price is thirty five ninety nine, including your P and P. But let's have a look at the website. I know we've gone through an awful lot of items. So we're going to go through those, just have a look, you know, remind yourself of what we have gone through, different shapes, different sizes, we've got the rulers, we've got the mats, and of course your brilliant one day special, which has got everything you could need really to sort of be an organised soft crafter. And when we are at the demonstration area, we will go through everything that comes with it and show you how best you can organise your box, etc. Now, we just want to show you these huge mats just on that bottom of the table there. Now, you can get these 860-378-4499 in your PMP. It's a freedom price of £40.49, including PMP. You just need to choose your colour and you are getting the rulers and the rotary cutter as well. So, uh, the mats are 24 by 36. Choose your green, your grey or your pink. So what should, what's the first, demo oh, first of all, actually, before we start, can I just show you this box? Just because obviously this is from the one day special and it's just an idea that you can see what can go in here and how well organised you can be with popping everything in here if you wish. So it's a fantastic box to have. So what demonstration are we going to see first? So I thought I'd show you really, I'm quite excited about these gloves yeah. because they're really lovely to work with. Um, but equally, I'm very excited about the pens. So the great thing, as I said before, the wonderful thing about the pens is you can doodle all over your fabric and if you get it wrong, so let me show you. I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing So this. you can draw all over it and if for any reason you're not happy with it, we're just going to apply some heat and that removes the can pen. Can we do that again? Because we were yeah. it was so quick, we didn't catch it. So just, yeah. So we're just going to doodle. Yeah. So these are great for children as well, actually, if they're doodling all over yeah. your things. Yeah. And then by just applying a little bit of heat, that's now removing that line. So this is perfect when you're um, doing any free motion project because, especially when you're starting. So um, 
What I find when I'm showing people how to do these in the class is that people are just a little bit afraid of just having a go and letting go or also you've got a blank piece of fabric and you don't know what to do with it. So the benefit of having the pens, I'm turning it over just because that other side's quite warm, is we can draw on here. My favourite free motion technique is, I quite like flowers, I'm quite good at, it's probably the only thing I can draw really. So there's all different kinds of techniques that you can use yeah. but the one that we're going to use today and the one I'm going to show you today is really simple. So we're just doing a little stem mm -hmm. and then we're going to draw a flower. And if you watch the way I'm drawing the flower and, and again have a little play, if you're not happy with it you can apply your heat. That's the, the route that we're going to follow when we're on the machine. So okay. again we're coming down again and doodling just another flower. My flowers sometimes end up with five petals, sometimes they end up with six. It really doesn't matter, it's personal preference. So you're literally going to draw... You want to draw whatever you want. You can draw whatever you want. You can do hearts, you can do flowers, you can do anything you want to do on Brilliant. here. I'm doing flowers because I think that flowers look more comp I love anything that looks complicated, but it's really simple. <laughs> That's what I like about sewing. I like doing things that are really simple, yeah. breaking down the techniques, but when you look at them, they yeah. look like they're complicated. So I'd like to show you how you change the foot on your sewing machine. So when you're going to do any free motion yeah. um, sewing, there's a couple of things that you need to take into consideration. And the bobbin box, the reason that we put the bobbin box in this collection mm -hmm. here is you will, you'll go through cotton really fast. So, you know, take your time load up your bobbins if you yep, want to you're getting that included as um, well. but what we're going to do is we're going to change the foot and we're taking let's just I'm not going to put the light on so we're removing the foot on the side so using your screwdriver take off the entire foot while we're on there and we'll just drop it in the box so we don't Sorry, lose it and mm -hmm. each sewing machine you'll your free motion foot or it might even be a darning foot that comes with your sewing machine have a little look in your manual Everyone will look different for each model machine. Right. I'm just using a generic um, free motion foot here today. Okay. So we're sliding this on. Make sure that it's above. So just drop your needle. And we want the bar to sit just here. So you can see that bar is just sitting on mm -hmm. top. Okay, I'm lifting that book up to make it really easy. And I always think that this looks like a little claw. So that little yes. claw is just going to go and sit on this screw. Okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're tightening this up. Yep. And the second thing that we need to do on here too is drop our feed dogs. So I'll show you what that means. And again, each sewing machine will be different. Yeah. <laughs> each sewing machine will be different. You might have a plate that sits onto these two holes. Your sewing machine manual will tell you. But on mine, I'm just dropping this little button here. And that's dropping those feed dogs. Okay. Okay, so those that's little cool, pieces. Feed dogs, they're feed called. Dogs. So when they're up, Let's put them back up. You see them popping above the machine. Yeah. When they're down, when they're down, you don't see them. Okay. Okay. And that is to make it really easy now when you're sliding your fabric across the top. Okay. Okay. So we've got our cotton in place, and all we're going to do. So putting the gloves on, as you can see, these have got these little rubber. So everything she is using is in the one day special, just to make you aware. Uh, I loved chatting with Jake and Gaddy and coming up with this idea because really? I wanted it to be really easy for me. Yeah. So it works really well. Yeah, how good is that? You can just It's really good. It. Yeah. And bit, that's the thing that I love about working with a quilted bear. So we're making sure the cotton, one on the bottom, one on the top. So when you slide your fabric beneath the sewing machine, mm -hmm. this is what's different about free motion. So normally when you drop your needle, drop yep. your foot, yep. that traps your fabric. Yes. It doesn't when you free motion. So you are now in complete control of where that fabric moves. Okay. And it can be quite overwhelming when you're starting which is why yeah. I would just which is why the pen's great and just get you know yeah I create what you mean now. simple sandwiches put some fabric on the back a little bit of batting or wadding whichever mm. you prefer to work with and just secure those in each corner so you can have those to move around so you want to straight stitch okay and all we're going to do is we're kind of going to follow those lines they're just there as a guide so as we drop you can see now I am in complete control I'm not following it exact, so now just drop that cotton out of the way so it doesn't get tangled yeah. up. And we've got the flowers here, and I'm going around each petal. Sometimes I end up with extra petals. Yeah. And you can see by having the gloves on, it's just making sure that you're holding the fabric and it's gliding the fabric the gloves for you. Are brilliant idea. I love these gloves. Yeah. So idea. we're on to the second one. My 
hands are quite close. You can pop a little bit in the middle if you want to, the more confident you get with moving your machine. And it's that easy. So oh this is the best time to have lots of fun with this and play with this. Yeah. And just to show you now, when I pop that heat on top. What a brilliant idea. So yeah, just leave it there a second, Kelly. Perfect. Yep, so that line's now gone. So the pen is gone and we've just been left with that stitching. So we're going to do this side now. So this one's our pen line and we're just going to have one more go at doing that. So, you know, if you're completely new to free motion, I'd make up lots of sandwiches, about ten and a half inches and just play. Just until you get used to moving that machine. And we're going back and around each flower. is absolutely such a brilliant idea. When you were saying to me before the show, you know, you just doodle, I was thinking, why did, I just couldn't understand why you wanted me to doodle. And now then you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to get you to doodle your name just to show you how easy it is. <laughs> and while you do that, I'm just going to... So what am I going to do? I'm no artist, you know. I'm let's, just going to do my name on Let's I? do your name on there. Let's do... Let's do your name. Yeah. OK. So keep your writing joined up. I'm just going to rethread the machine. I'm going to write my name. That I think I can you handle. You can do it big or small. Yeah. You were worried when I said I was going to get you involved. <laughs> I was, because I thought I was going to be sewing. Now, don't get me wrong, I want to be sewing. Um, I just don't know if I can do it, really. You can definitely One step do it. at a time, do you know what I mean? I've only just started stamping and die cutting. But see, there's, is there not a part of you that wants to have a little doodle of a flower? Looks yeah, easy. <laughs> yeah, there is. I mean, to me, so I mean, it's incredible sewing, and I think as well, so useful. So it's quite difficult not being able to sew because I told you, didn't yeah. I, to send everything to my mum. <laughs> I know, in my age. Um, so I really, really should have learnt, but I don't so know. It just, it's, it's hard for you because you're obviously so skilled. So you, you just make it look like a breeze. I'm quite it's very addictive. This. Are you enjoying writing your name? Yeah, <laughs> but she's. <laughs> but when she said to me, "You need to doodle or write your name before the show," I was just—I literally thought, "I don't understand why she wants me to just write my name on a piece of fabric and like what we're going to do with it." But I get so it let's now. Show you. So we're going to write you, your name. Yeah, on there. but I've done. Do you think they're too small a heart? No, they're great. So all I'm going to do is follow these letters, and we're going to join them up. So let's just pop that in there. It's These the are great. Best so demo ever. I always think if you've forgotten to make somebody a present or you've got a last minute present, this yes. is a really fast way of making, mm. a, you know, a personalised present. So we're just following your name. Now the difference that I would do here is instead of going over it once, we're going to come back and go over it two or three times, and then that makes it stand really, really proud. Brilliant idea. So nine piece sewing kit, four three eight seven one two. So what you're seeing at the moment is <coughs> the sewing going over the top of the pen, which you can actually iron off. You can see by adding that extra line, it just makes it stand out. And when you're doing this at home, you take great care. But just by giving it that extra line, and if you did this three or four times, so we're going to go back and just do those little hearts, just because they're cute. They're so cute, aren't they? I always do hearts for my name or after my name. Did you get told off when you were at school? We were never allowed to do... Are to hear me? Um, is it because this is loud? Yeah. I'm not really saying anything of interest at home, so you not really miss much. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to bring this back, just so we can finish it off and just show you once the... So we're just going to cut those joining threads now to remove those. And again, you'll see the difference once we apply the heat. This is such... Honestly, look at this. Look at that. So we could turn that very quickly into a cushion and there you've got a present yes. for a birthday. Or Christmas. Christmas would be oh, great yes. with Christmas coming up. Oh, I love it. There you go. 
just take that off the back. And what, you ha what you're looking to achieve when you're doing your free motion as well is that your stitching's the same on the back. Sometimes ah, um, that okay. takes a little while to get used to doing that and you know playing with your settings on your machine, but ideally you want it to not be knotting up there on the back. And then you've got your name. Oh, look, I love it. Thank you. Emily in the gallery has requested a cushion, if at all possible. <laughs> We'll get on that. Do you know, if we'll anyone do that. deserves one, it's our Emily. She's so lovely. No, it's true though, isn't it? Is this Emily who wants to sell? Yeah. Yes. So she's we could get such, Emily to She's a crafter girl. and she's really good at everything. But yeah, she's a... Well, no, you are really good at everything. Um, anyway, 438712. And there's a freedom price on this. It's 3322 because we are in an event. So we've got brilliant freedom prices. If you're not a freedom member, have a listen to Janice. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. So I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quote the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family so because we are in our event we do have freedom savings on everything within this hour we also have a giveaway as well you can actually win a sewing machine light which is worth 30 pounds so any purchase you make throughout this hour you will be entered into our prize draw and then we will announce the winner towards the end of the show lovely katie just hand me that in thank you so that is what you will get worth 30 pounds Fabulous. And we will announce the winner at the end of the show. Now, we're coming back with these mats. Um, this is the, who, me or Kerry? Yeah, Kerry's got the 18 by 18. So we'll have a look at that. You're, you're on the 18 by 18. I'm on the 18 by 18. Yeah. I'm just going to move so the camera can That's it. see. We've got some little markers. Yeah, perfect. That's it. Wonderful. So, which one would you like to look at, um, Katie? Look at my one. Right, let's look at my one. You're getting the rulers and the rotary cutter as well, just so you can see that in the shot. So that's what you're getting. Now you choose your colour of mat, so you can have your blue or your pink, your green or your grey. And this is how it works, isn't it, Kerry? Yes. Now, did you want me to turn this over? Yep, so if you, if you turn that over together, hold the two pieces together, it's mm -hmm. just to show the locking mechanism on the back. Yeah. So this is what makes these extra special. Not only can you rotate them, but these are on there to protect your mats as well. So when they're not in use, or yep. if, you're, you know, if you don't need it to rotate because of the project you're doing, yep. then it means you can release these locks here, and this locks this into position, preventing your mat from moving. And the grey option is limited stock. Sorry to interrupt you. These were so busy last, I'm not surprised. So if you want your grey, you need to be so quick. There's only 10% of the stock left. Sorry, you That's carry okay. on. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really about protecting and it's about, can I turn it over Yeah, turn, we'll if we open it up while yeah, you turn it, it up, over. Yeah. And then that just means you can show how it turns too. It's 
is a brilliant idea. Isn't that great? Yep. So the reason that you'd want your mat to move, so I'm going to do a little demonstration on the circular mats here mm -hmm. for you, just to show you why it's a huge benefit that you can move these while you're working on them. It just means you're not moving around the table yeah. or disturbing your fabric before it's cut to the size that you want it to be too. So I want to bring up the details for the circular one because that is what Kerry's going to be working on. It's 14 by 14. And again, you choose the same colour option. So your blue, your green, your grey, your pink. OK, so this is very similar to your square ones and there'd be different reasons that you'd want these. Mm -hmm. On the circular match, you've got the two locking mechanisms on the back. And then we've got your, um, you know, the facility to turn as well. OK, so we just want to show you how the two rulers in the kit, the reason that we've chosen these rulers for this kit, so it means that you can just make half square triangles and is endless the things that you can do with half square triangles. But I just want to show you this really simple, really simple block here. So we're going to take two pieces of fabric mm -hmm. using the rulers. We haven't got to worry about... In the one day special. These are in the one day special. Right, yeah. okay. So this comes in there and we're going to, I'm just going to stand up to do this bit. Mm. So when you're using your rotary cutters, people always ask, it's really important that you take your time when using them. They are incredibly sharp, a lot sharper than people sometimes anticipate. So to use yeah. these, when you're mm. using your ruler, just imagine that the rotary cutter is an extension of your arm. So we never want to be doing this or having it flat. By imagining it's an extension of your arm, it just means you can apply the right pressure to glide through your fabric. Mm. Okay, so we place our hand on the centre of the ruler, put our body weight, release the guard, so really easy to use these ones. Pull the guard back, finger on the rubber part, and cut. And by having the rotating cutting mat now, we're going to turn this around. Oh, yes. So when you're using it, it's so important that you're not going towards you or any yep. other way apart from away, away from okay. you. Okay, so we're going to do that again. I'm going to come to you for sewing lessons, Kerry. There you go. We can do it and have cut. You make tea, I'll make them, um, because I'm not very good at making oh, tea. Oh, okay, you I'll do the tea, tea I'll, make, I'll teach you to sew. Okay, and I'll bring sweets. And you bring sweets. That sounds like a good plan to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've all just had a load of sweets That's for it. this show. That was a nice little surprise, actually. <laughs> so we're now using, and on this, we can use any one of these lines. Okay. So just so you can see those on there, I'm just going to use one of these bold black lines that you can see just here. Yeah. Yeah, can we see that? So any one of the lines, and we're going okay. to line that up along the edge. If right. I take this back over to the mat, and we're going to line that up on the so edge of the fabric. Yeah. And again, we're pushing away. And you can turn the mat in any direction. And sometimes it's worth just thinking, well, what position have I got to turn the mat to yeah. make sure I'm always? So if you're left-handed, you know, you're lining yeah. it up so you're always pushing away from your body. And then we've got our first square there. So you can right. see just how easy that is. I particularly like the circle mats as well because when you've got a small space to work with, they're yes, ideal. Yes, yeah. So what we're going to do with this block now, let me just show you, is, where's my pins? There they are. We're now going to place the pattern over the plain fabric. Mm -hmm. Do you want your box back in front of the machine? Yeah, I feel yes. lost without it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one day special box. Fabulous. Details at the bottom of the screen for your one day special. So 438172. So we're now going to pop, we're going to change our foot. So if I can just grab mm -hmm. that foot back. So we're going to put our, so take the uh, free motion foot off now. So remember when you're taking your free motion foot, whenever you're messing with your machine, always switch it off. I always find I get excited. So it's very easy <laughs> to get excited and press that pedal. So we're going to pop this back on and tighten that screw up as tight as it will go. And if you remember, we dropped the feed dogs. Yes. So. We, what we need to do when we're going back to sewing is just, and each machine will be different, your manual will tell you, is we're going to drop those. So we're now raising, sorry, we're going to raise them back up so they're now going to glide the fabric underneath. Sometimes you get so excited with what you're doing, you forget to do that and your machine won't move and you're wondering what it is. It's just sometimes that you've forgotten to raise those feed dogs. So when I'm sewing anything, I always say to people, imagine your pins are arrows and they're telling you where to sew. So mm. on here, I've put the arrows pointing out because I'm going to sew all around each side. Okay. Okay. And just with a straight stitch, switching the machine back on. Always move your tangled up cotton. I'm just going to sew around that square now. Get 
to a quarter inch so I always sew using a quarter inch you can buy different feet and, and the, the more confident you become or if you use the side of your foot that's generally about a quarter inch but just pick a line this is probably one of the easiest techniques when you're doing a half square triangle okay if you want an easy block these rulers are already in your one day special Just, we're going to sew just beyond that line, so we've completed that square. Do you want to sew yet? I do, I just don't think <laughs> I could do it. Okay, so we're going to remove the pins. I'll have to ask you what basic sewing machine I should get. Mm. I mean, I'll, well, I'll, yeah, for a beginner. I'll, have to, I'll message you after and you yeah. have to tell me what I could get. Yeah, I'll, so I'll definitely. Sewing machine for dummies and uh, I'll buy it. I always say to pe people sometimes get overwhelmed and think they have to go and buy the best, the most mm. expensive sewing machine. It depends what you want to do, but just look for something with a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch because they're generally the stitches that you're going to use. Okay. And the more confident you'll start to upgrade from there. So we've now got, so let's just pop this back. Yep. We've now got a square. We've sewn around the outside, we've left no gaps. We're popping this back on our rotating cutting mat and we're lining up. So we're using the ruler and we're lining up to that little corner here, top okay. and bottom. Okay. Body weight across, arm is your extension, always in a straight line. So this is where this is great, you haven't got to think too much about it. And we're just going to cut. And then we're rotating the mat again. And we're going to do the same. So the two points. And you can see how easy and how free that mat is to move. Yeah, brilliant. What so a brilliant idea. We've got those little triangles now. So Fantastic. let me show you what you do with these. So when you're doing patchwork, what we're going to do is just, I always do it like this. So always have the top colour as your darkest colour. Yeah. Open up your little triangle mm -hmm. and press against your seam. Yes. Okay. And we're going to do that on each one there. Okay. So dark colour up, yeah. press against your seam. Yeah, I've heard someone else say that as well. And by doing it this way, you could do it the other way, so a lot of people will do it that way. But what I find by doing it this way is it stops any tucks, which can sometimes occur, mm. especially the smaller the square that you're working yeah. with. Okay, so we'll just do that on our fourth one. And you do it that way, don't you? Because if you did the white over the dark, it would be see-through. You'd yeah. see it. Yeah. Mm. So you would, I mean, sometimes you've got two dark fabrics, so in that, it's fine. it doesn't matter. Yeah. But when you're doing it the other way, exactly as you said, you'd see your fold mm. there. So what we're going to do now, using one of the smaller rulers that come in the block, in, in the box even, is we're just going to line this up and we want to trim those down to a three and a half. So this is a four inch ruler okay. and we're going to trim those down to three and a half inches. So we're using the halfway mark here mm -hmm. and really all we're doing is just tidying. And when you're doing something like this, it's easy to sit down and do that bit. This rotary cut is good, isn't it? it yeah, absolutely. Um, we've what we bought on last time is the rotary blade sharpener. Mm. Um, so, you know, when you find that your blade is getting blunt, you can yep. just pop your blade inside and that tightens We do off. have that as well, actually. We're going to bring the details of it. Um, that's a brilliant idea, isn't it? So, only 9 99 Four six four six five one, and this is your blade, your rotary blade sharpener. Now, if you're a Freedom member, it's just eight ninety nine, including your P and P, and then your regular price was nine ninety nine and P and P. So, if you are buying the rotary um, blade, sorry, the rotary cutter, then absolutely add this into your basket as well. Dispatch from the tenth. Oh no, that's wrong. Ignore that. It's immediate dispatch. It said dispatch from the 10th of September, and I thought, that can't be right. It can't be right. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, to wait. Okay, so we've got these, so I'm just tidying these up, but while I'm doing that, I just wanted to show you this as well, Nikki. These are half square triangles as well, so I don't know whether you want to have a little look at those. So it just yes. really is the way that you put your triangles and you can make all sorts of shapes and sizes i love that and that's a little chevron Isn't so that that's so doing nice. exactly the same as what i've just done emily what do you want your cushion to be like are you giving me homework you have to, yeah <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting the orders in <laughs> I love yeah it. similar to those colors 
All mustards, okay. Emily could come with me tonight and finish that off. That could be the plan. That's so nice. Oh, yeah, she'd love that. She could do that. We can take the sewing machine and just have a little private session, Aww. little sewing class. Kerry, you're so lovely. <laughs> I love her too. <laughs> That's like pressure to make sure I come back with a cushion tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. I get We're it. We're not soft here, Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. know, oh isn't that lovely? Emily would love that. Emily would love it. And then if we've got to put Emily's name on there too. Yeah. That'd be ace, wouldn't Obviously. it? Obviously. Okay, so we've squared up these little triangles now. And all we're going to do, it really is the way in which you lie them out. Okay. So let's just get rid of these little ones. And just so it's the same as this, we're going to put those in there. We're going to make a little diamond shape. Just because I think it's cute. Yes. Okay. I do. So just a couple of little techniques that we can use in here. We're always bringing the fabric over the top lining those up and again as i said dropping those pins just missed a little bit there let's just trim that down and sitting those in position and the same again here and when you've got two corners that are mm -hmm. overlapping what we're going to do although we've pushed them that way we want these to lock into position so we push the seam one to the left, one to the right. Yeah. So as you look closely to those, they lock into position. And that just means that when you're sewing them, there's little movement and you get some nice points on there, which is really quite okay. important when we're, doing, when we're doing quilting. So I'm just gonna press that seam in the opposite direction here. So these quilts behind, yep. have you done those? Yes, yes. How clever is she, look. So, and that's why I love these rulers, really, because they make each of each of those blocks much easier. So the one day special makes life easy. It really, really does. You're getting nine pieces within the one day special. Um, the box you're getting, the um, the ruler. Well, we'll go through it all with Kerry. What was this again? Sorry. It's the bobbin box. The bobbin box. That was it. You're getting the thread as well, you're getting your rulers, you're getting your gloves, you're getting the dividers for the box, your heat erasable pen and the glue pen as well. So much within there. Brilliant value for money. It's a great, um, it really is a great little project because it's got everything in there. So also for this as well, I changed my mind. I thought I was going to show okay. you a chevron the same as we've just looked at Emily's cushion. Yeah. So all I've done is just put these in a different angle. So this is going to make one of our little chevrons. And if you really wanted to, you could literally just use the box to make a whole quilt. So the quilt that you saw just, it is just different blocks. These are known as blocks. So you wow. could just mix up these and do a little bit of free motion on them and then make a quilt with lots of different blocks, still using the tools that come in here. Oh, amazing. Imagine being able to make that quilt. So when we come to the back, let's just move all the excess cottons. I just want to show you just a quick little tip as well. So we've got our chevron. We can already see, we can see through there quite clearly. What we want to do is make sure that the seams are going in opposite directions. So mm. it's a bit easier if I show you this way. So we press one to the left and we press the other one, one to the right. Okay. And it will be easier because we're not on a corner to show you what I mean about that locking. So you can see. So as we bring it, so I always bring top to bottom, yeah. line it up over the top, and you can literally feel it lock into position. So mm. now, if we look nice and closely, we can see that that is sitting on top, just nice and yes. neat. And where we're aiming to sew is here. So our quarter inch will give us that anyway, but if we sew here, then we get that nice point that I spoke to you about. Another little thing that I always do is put a, um, a pin either side of that line. And if you make sure you're a finger space back, it means you haven't got to move your pins as you're sewing along. Okay. And we're going to put one on the outside. So you can see how fast you could make the little cushion, how fast they build, so just using fast. everything that you've got in this little box that we've put together for you. We're very busy on the circular rotating cut mat set. 30% of the pink option has gone. You can get your blue, your pink, your grey or your green, um, but you need to be quick on the pink. Because it's Pink a 24 hour stock and we're already 30% gone. That's really good. So if we can see nice and closely here, and I said we want to get in this point, we want to make sure we sew just at the angle there. And that means we're gonna get that nice, so you can see we're just going straight across and sewing off to the end. You'll notice I've not moved my pins either and I generally tend not to, if I'm honest. Okay. Um, 
definitely where the join is I always put two pins in further enough back so as we open this up now this little point that I was saying to you mm -hmm. let me let me iron it actually so we're going to press the seam up on the back and then if we flip it over <gasps> doing it on the row on the cutting mat now <laughs> and as we push this back we can see that nice little block there and you can see how fast you could make a quilt as we go Can't through believe how fast that looks so good nice and easy isn't it yeah so honestly all of the gadgets with the them the circular mat or any of the mats and the one day special you're good to go really so I've just taken that one off because it's this one that because we're working on this one and all I'm going to do now is just slide a pin in on each corner and I want to show you what it looks like when we free motion over the top of there as well just so it brings it to life this is such a lovely show it's a nice way yeah, to spend a Saturday evening a well, I hope you are at home as well well you probably know a lot more than well, obviously you know a lot more than I do but just me and the team in the gallery we're all like learning quite a lot from this it's lovely so I'm just popping the free motion foot back on I'm going to drop my feed dogs again and the nice thing when you work in block by block is you can play with your technique so we could do maybe let's do some little love hearts on here as you doodled a little love heart yeah so i'm going to get you to doodle a love art line for me just top to bottom top to bottom on there for me oh i don't want to ruin that you won't ruin it what I just you literally everything. draw some hearts yep okay so remember you've got to put your stem so same as what i did on mine little wiggly line little heart little wiggly line really not just like four hearts no because we need to join them we so need wiggles we need wiggles oh this is so much pressure i don't know what you mean by wiggles so do a heart so if i show you where oh, do you like the flowers like the flowers so a wiggly line and then a heart and a wiggly line. Could, oh kerry you do it we'll be here all day if it's left to me <laughs> should we stick with should we do hearts so yeah, the, do hearts, let's do hearts i don't know what you mean because obviously the blue fabric's there That's so okay. so <laughs> This time, we're not going to draw Emily the line. Was like, that's the point, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be dreaming about wiggly hearts yeah, and lines tonight, though. No, because if I, you're not drawing it. I'm you not going to draw, to. we're just going to go for it. So the more you practice, the more confident you'll be. So we're going to work. And you'll notice that the bat in here is bigger than my block. And the reason for that is you can't physically get in, especially with something so small. So we've just put the bat in a little bit bigger and the back in fabric as well. Okay. So let's just have a little play. Just tighten up that. We've got ten minutes left. Hasn't <gasps> that gone quickly? How excited! That has gone so quickly. I'm going to have a finished little piece oh. for Emily to do some sewing for homework. <laughs> oh, she's going to love it. Okay, so just tighten that up a little bit because it wasn't quite tight enough. So let me just put that back under there again. So we're just doing exactly the same as we did before. If you get your fabric that's caught up, at, uh, your cotton, sorry, yeah. always thinking about fabric, just bring it back out of your way, use your stitch on picker. And then what we're going to do is do a little heart. I'm going to go around twice, just so it stands out really proud. And we're going to bring it across and we're going to do another heart. So you can see... Oh, on the blue, that's what confused me. I didn't, I thought, why would we draw on the blue if we didn't go to see it? That's it. I'm going to come across just so we can see another one here on the white and it really doesn't matter if your lines cross because we're going to go around and you can see by just doing that extra line it really stands proud let's turn it around so we're not going to do it top to bottom we're just going to play and that's the wonderful thing about free motion is there really is it's entirely up to you what you do what you like there's no right or wrong way of doing this I love special. the gloves, yeah. They're what really good. good. Idea. And the great thing about these particular gloves is they're quite tight. So yeah. they're really tight on your fingers, so they're not moving. I've used gloves mm. before where they're a little bit too big or a little bit yeah. too small. This would be great for you to write little love notes in your cushions if you wanted. Oh, so that's people, and they always say, I don't think so. <laughs> quite romantic at heart and people are always like uh, no we're not doing that that's so nice but you could you could write 
I've had yeah. ladies make quilts and write their grandchildren's names in the quilts. I think that's such which a is nice lovely. Idea too. Which is a really lovely, lovely idea. And you can just you can do as much or as little as this as you want to. Yeah. There are some great free motion templates out there as well if you want something more structured. Um, and it's just fun. So just have lots of fun playing and doodling. Yeah. And writing your little love letters in your quilts. Oh. <laughs> So, we have to look at our website because we do need you to check out your baskets with our one day special. Um, yeah, let's see what, oh look at it. So this, where are we going? Should we go here? Yeah. So if this was going to be, this is going to be a super, super mini, mini um, cushion, but if this was the size of the other chevron that I showed you, what we would do at this point is to square this up. So when you're working on batting and definitely when you're doing quilting, your fabrics move slightly. So mm. all we're going to do, going back to what we were doing before, yeah. using that ruler, um, using one of the bold lines, popping that on the bottom of your fabric, and remembering this is your extension of your arm, taking that off. Pivoting your mat and turning your ruler. And we're just going to go around to finish this off so it's nice and neat. So the rotary cutter does come with the mat, don't forget, and those two rulers. Half the stock now of the pink has gone and 40% of the blue has gone. So here, I just want to point this out. A lot of people will say, oh, but it doesn't quite reach the end. And it really doesn't matter. So Let's people tend can to... Can just pick that up? There's first. a tiny little piece just here right. on the edge. Yeah. So quite yeah. often in, in, in classes, people say it doesn't quite reach the edge. It's not quite right. As long as it's less than quarter inch, and yeah. that's why your rulers are great. And the quarter inch, I'll bring this to here. Sorry, I'm moving fast. Is th this little black line there. Okay. okay. So you can always check. You would lie that on the side of your fabric and just see, does that fall within that quarter inch? And if it does, we haven't got to worry about it because when we sew our next block onto there, mm. you don't see that anyway. Oh, great. So I always think that's quite important to say because people sort of panic and go, oh, but it's not quite. And that yes. does happen with applying the heat and, uh, and your quilting on there. There's a little super cute mini... Isn't that Mini lovely? cushion, Emily. Oh, <laughs> isn't that so lovely? So your details for the cutting mat are eight to nine three one nine seven. So that is for your round one. Thirty five ninety nine is your freedom price, including PMP. Um, but let's have a look at the website because obviously we've gone through an awful lot of items, and you can just remind yourself about the one day special. And me and Kerry are going to move over to have a look down the counter at some more items for you. So we've got rulers on here, we've got all the mats on here in various different sizes. If you've missed any of it, you can go back and watch it on Rewind. Um, and also Kerry will be back at eight o'clock with Janice. But there is sort of so much, so many useful tools on here. Mats, rulers, everything you can need that's going to make your life easier if you're a soft crafter. And this one day special is absolutely absolutely brilliant so let's just just in case anyone's tuning in now okay. let's just go through what's on this one day special so you're getting your box yes with your dividers with your dividers yeah. mm -hmm. you're getting your bobbins box yes <laughs> well remembered and you're getting what's what do you use this so the sewing for? gauge that's what i'm going to show you in the next show is okay. it's just you know a useful tool to have at the side it's great if you do in double hems or you've just got to measure small small pieces on there yeah. so that's a, that's a great accessory to have to just have in your box all the time with yeah. you the gloves which obviously we've seen we you demonstrating gloves. yeah absolutely brilliant and that's when you're doing free motion yes. it's to grip the fabric yes. isn't it Make and you it can easier. wear them when you're quilting as well so okay. you can wear these i know a lot of ladies will wear them when they're quilting because they just find that it really helps feed that fabric through so not specifically for free motion but definitely an added bonus mm. for free motion now the pens yes so you're obviously getting you go through the pens with me so, so getting... the pens so we've got the heat erasable pen um and that basically you can doodle all over your fabrics and you can wipe off that line with a little bit of a heat. What we've not looked at on the pens, and I forgot to mm. mention, on the top of the pen is a rubber. Yeah. So if you hadn't got your iron out, you can use that rubber on the fabric oh, too. Oh, brilliant. So I don't think I showed you that. So that is a little rubber just there on the top of that so pen. So Kerry was using the pen to create what image she wanted, and then she went on to obviously sew it. And then after that, you were using your iron to the heat yeah. to remove the pen. But yeah. if you haven't got your iron, then there's a rubber at the end of that pen. Yeah, so oh. that's a that's a great accessory mm. to have. And the other item that I haven't yet shown, but I'll show in the next um, session, is the uh, the glue pen. Yes. So 
the cushions that we're going to make in the next one it will have some little felt um, applique so if you've just got some more small pieces of applique apply a little bit of glue from that pen and you can attach it to your fabric so again a great accessory yeah. I love using those with zips as well so I always cheat okay. and use those with zips <laughs> instead of pins and we've got the two rulers as well that we're getting within our one day special so your one day special is 438 712 3322 including your PMP your saving on this is 31 69 it's a huge saving it's a must-have for any soft crafters out there to make their life easier to be a little bit more organized as well and have everything in its place now we do have a winner from our prize draw and where is it gone oh here and your winner is Karen Dye. So well done to you. Congratulations. This is going to find its way to you. Well done. This is actually worth worth £30. So well done for winning that. So again, your one day special 438712. Your freedom saving means 3322. And would you like to see some of the rulers, Katie? Yeah, let's move down to this. I know we're coming to the end of the show. This is our three piece set, just to remind you of that, because we only saw it at the beginning of the show. 435510. 32.97 and your P and P and you'll get a freedom price as well. What would we use these for? So these are great. The size of the, the longest one is great when we're working with fat quarters on the larger um, cutting mats, but also um, when we're working with fat quarters as well. So it's the perfect size to work with those. They'll yeah. overhang on our fat quarters. So we would use it for that and any cutting really. You could use these. You could just use these three rulers for mm. all of your cutting if you wanted to because you've got the different sizes, yeah. um, which I quite like. This is probably the one that I use the most, the longest one. Great, okay. Now we're very busy for our one day special. Just to remind you, it's a 24 hour offer and the price will go up or the stock will run out, one or the other. So if you want to secure your order, then please do. Um, we've had a great show, really, you know, this has been incredible. The mats, the rotary cutter, everything we've seen. If you wanna have another look, like I said, you can watch it on Rewind or tune in at eight o'clock because Kerry will be back with our lovely Janice. Um, but we've got the rulers, we've got the rotary cutters, the mats, you name it everything you need for your soft crafts thank you so You're much welcome. you have been amazing what <laughs> a wonderful you. guest and what an absolutely lovely person thank you to you at home as well for watching see you soon